Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here with another um, design team project for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I'm gonna feature one die today. Can't believe I didn't use any of the other dies on it, but I didn't, I only used one. Um, so the um, set I'm using today <clears throat> is this one it's kind of hard to see and all that but it's called the market stand mini album let me pull out this stuff so i can show you <clears throat> what comes with it real quick okay so you can make a mini album out of it um i did not i'll show you what i made here in a minute so you got your this is your like your biggest outline piece okay here's your stitched inner inner piece right there okay here's your next layer this is the one that cuts out like the window and stuff for the um, little booth that's more you know more detailed okay so that's the third layer um, you get this set right here this part right here so this is your the roof of your cart and then there's um, like banner pieces um, this uh, this word love and these can all layer up on top of each other um, you got like a heart balloon that you, it um, cuts the center out and then there's different strings you can attach this is the handle to the cart um, these I'm not sure what they're exactly meant to be but I thought they look like shopping bags so I use mine as shopping bags <laughs> there's some other hearts and there's some little like candy like a sucker heart type looking thing here and here okay so there's those pieces and then there's some more little swir swirlies for um, you know for balloons and stuff and decorating and then these little plates that you can put like um, so it'll just be like a square you could like put the name on the card or something like that if you wanted to and then there's also a bigger one and let's see i didn't even look at this they probably yeah they probably they layer up together so you could make a shaker if you wanted to um here's the wheel so this cuts out the wheel and then this is the like the layering piece for the like the tire okay so that is cute and yeah you probably also make a shaker out of this one so yeah really cute so those are the pieces Again, it's called Market Stand Mini Album. Um, let's see, let me just put this aside, I guess. <clears throat> let me share with you, first off, all of Erica's information. Here's her website. So you can go look at all of her um, dye she has available. And then here's all of her um, social media. You can follow along at. Okay, now let me show you what I made with mine. side here so here is what mine looks like didn't it turn out cute so again I'm using the happy oh, heart eyes from simple stories paper collection so for mine I lay I used I didn't use the biggest um, uh, like base piece I use the stitched piece, which is my pink around here, this light pink in the background. And then I use this piece to cut out my pattern paper, which is this pink and orange polka dot. Okay, it cuts out the window. So what I did was cut another one out of the blue and then I just took out the window part that it cut out and I just pieced it back in there. because I wanted something different inside there. But you could, you know, definitely, you know, put acetate or something there if you want to look clear, you know, like the cart was open. Um, here's my um, roof piece, and I stuck some um, trim up here at the top. Uh, here's my um, wheel. It actually turns. I put it on with a brad, so it turns. So I have this kind of um, fabric type brad right down here. And I did layer up this like three. I didn't put it, use any foam, but I did um, cut the the wheel part out um, I think three or four times and layered it up just for sturdiness okay so that it could spin and not you know fall apart here's the um, this part right here is the little handle part I was talking about and I just put a little um, heart right there here are the two little um, 
like uh, that looked to me like um, like shopping bags. So I punched a tiny hole and put a tiny brad in there, and just put those through the handle. So that's my little my little um, shopping bags hang in there for the cart, and then I just have a cluster of um, <clears throat> you know ephemera pieces and flowers and <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, cabochons and stuff. I have some little puffy hearts down here in the corner. Um, I used this, um, this is a sticker from the um, collection and I just put it down on some 110 pound cardstock, cut out around it. And then you can see I just, um, I hot glued it on top of one of these dollar store, dollar tree picks with the heart on top. So I just hot glued that on top and then I just tied some, um, what do we call that? Seam binding right there. I have some like eyelash trim kind of layered up behind here. This is a sticker down here too, but I um, also cut it out so it'd have sturdiness. This is a um, this is a sticker from the collection. I put it on top of that small square that I showed you. This one right here that comes with the thing. I just cut that out in just the pink same as the um, back piece and then I just layered up this ticket on top of it. I punched a little hole in the corner and I added a cute little lip charm here hanging off the edge. I think it turned out really cute. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I got the cop all said. Okay, so then I didn't want it to just be plain, so ba -ba, I made a, um, a back piece. So this is what my back looks like. So, of course, it's not decorated. I just, you know, put some pattern paper back here and and just um, just so it looked good on the other side, too, even though it's not decorated. Okay, and then in the middle, I used this old die for my stash. It's a Quick Cuts. It's called the Drawer Box. Like this. I just happened to have one of these, so it was easy for me to use, and I just um, cut out the box and the drawers. So I cut out the box in white, 110 pound, and then I cut out my drawers in pattern paper and slid them in there. And then um, I used beads to make a handle, and then you can just pull out the drawer, and I got some little, you know, you can put whatever in there, some flowers, some rosettes, some little charms, whatever, to like you want to give somebody. So there's that. Now I did that, so I put this right here, and then I did the same one on the other side. So I have two, I did it twice. I um, glued them together, and then I sandwiched them in between these two things. So they all pull out. So it just gives you a fun little way to like give something to somebody. And then I just measured the top and cut a piece out um, freehand to stick in here. So it just wasn't, you know, the plain white when you look down in there. So anyway, I think that turned out really cute. Now. There's probably other dies you could. I'm sure there's other dies you can use for you know like making drawers and stuff inside, or you could just you know do measurements. And I prefer to go to, to go to a die so it makes it easier. So that's why I went and looked. And I found that and I thought, oh, that would be cute to have some drawers on the side. So that's what I did. Now you could also this one wouldn't have drawers unless you made your own. But like they sell these like at um, Hobby Lobby, and they're usually in the um, like the wedding section because they're for like wedding favors. And you know, all you have to do is just like fold them up. And this one actually has a heart cut out of it with um, acetate back there. So real easy, you could just put together the heart and you know, put together the box and just leave one end open. So you could either just make it a box and then just fill the box, or you know, you could just make your own measurements and, and um, make drawers if you wanted to do that. But anyway, this is a, an option too, and they're not very expensive and you get like, I don't know, Looks like it probably probably was 20 or so in there at least. Um, anyway, so I had those in my stash, so I could have used that too if I didn't have that die. So, and there's I'm sure there's other dies too from like Scrap Diva or you know that you could use in place of these. This is just what I had, and I didn't go looking through all my dies to see what other ones I could use. I just for some reason, I just thought of that one with the drawers, and so I knew I had that in my stash, so I went and found it and did that. So I just think it turned out super cute, and what a great way to give some gifts. 
be fun for a swap, but and it's just so pretty that the person recipient could just you know set it on their on their shelf and admire it. So I think it turned out really cute. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out very pretty, and I like the little drawers. I love the little drawers. So anyway, um, so just don't think of dies just how they're labeled, like how this one said mini album. Of course, I could do a mini album out of it, but you could do so many other things. I could just make a card. I could do other boxes. You could do all kinds of fun things with this. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, I will link the shop and the dies and my affiliate code and the discount code that I have to down below. So if you decide to go check this out and you decide to purchase anything, you'll have all that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Erica, for all these wonderful dies. Um, I love them. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.